of whom I'm chief. How be it this cause I obtain mercy? That in me first. Something's different here with Paul, guys. That in me first, Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which hereafter should believe on him to life everlasting. You study these two verses out, you'll see that word chief and that word first. Chief in verse 15 and first in verse 16 are the same Greek word. Paul's the first sinner. Paul's the first one placed into the body of Christ. Not Matthias, not Peter, Paul. He obtained mercy because he did it ignorantly. Howbeit for this cause I obtained mercy that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering to them which should hereafter believe on him to life after everlasting. How do we know that Paul was the first one in the body of Christ? There had to be a first person, guys. Paul's our pattern. We're just going to follow right after Paul. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. You, me, Every believer that puts their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for their sins, the moment you believe that, you are baptized by one spirit into one body, Christ's body. When Paul heard that message from the Lord Jesus Christ over in Galatians chapter 1, Galatians chapter 1, if you'll turn over there with me real quick. Galatians chapter 1. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached to me is not after man. I never received it of man, neither heard it by man, but by revelation of Jesus Christ. Paul heard the gospel from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ told Paul, I died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again the third day. I've done this in my last video, and I'll do it in this one here too. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. You got to hear the gospel, right? The gospel of your salvation. Paul had to hear it. He had a little bit of an advantage because he was talking to the Lord, he saw the light, but he still had to hear it. He heard the gospel. What's the next thing Paul did? He believed it. What did he believe? He believed the gospel. That Jesus Christ died on the cross for his sins, was buried and rose again the third day. Then what happened? After Paul believed it. For by one spirit are you all baptized into one body. He was baptized into the body of Christ. And then that Holy Spirit sealed Paul until the day of redemption. Same thing happened to Paul, happened to me and you. If you believe the gospel. If you do not believe the gospel, you're not sealed by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you're not a hit. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. Verse 27, then, then, then answer Peter unto them, Behold, we have forsaken thee and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? You know, Peter's gonna Peter's calling the Lord out, you know, hey, we followed you for three and a half years. We gave up everything to follow you. We believe you. We believe you're the Christ, but what do we get for it? 
Jesus answers Peter's question in verse 28. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Turn over with me to Revelations chapter 21. You're going to sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. When Peter asked that question, Revelation 21, 14. And the wall, the, John's going to see the new heaven and the new earth come down. Verse 1. Uh, verse 2. And the, the, the new holy city, the new Jerusalem. Verse 14. Um, and the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. That's Peter and the twelve's name. Matthias. Matthias' name is going to be there, not Paul. You know why it's not Paul? Because Paul's in the body of Christ. Turn with me over to um, Philippians. Philippians. Paul's citizenship is in heaven. Philippians chapter 3. Verse 20, for our conversation, citizenship, is in heaven. From hence also we look for our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to even subdue all things unto himself. Paul was waiting for that rapture to get his new body so he could go to heaven and forever be with the Lord. Because his citizenship is in heaven too. Not on earth with Peter and the eleven. Paul's not going to sit down in the new Jerusalem, sitting on one of those thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. That's not his position. His position is in the heavenlies. Along with you and I, if you believe the gospel. So I hope that clears up any confusion that anyone might have about, did Peter choose Matthias in error? I simply do not see it. Uh, as you, you, you know, people that say this are just making this stuff up. And where they get it from, I do not know. That's the million dollar question is where do they get it at? There is no verse in the Bible that says that Peter chose Matthias, an heir, and that it was originally supposed to be Paul. Until next time, Maranatha.